In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a blog page in Squarespace 7.0 with different sections and each section being a different category. So starting out, you probably know that Squarespace has a blog and you know it's your blog page because it has that little A next to it. Um, but there's not a lot of customizations that you can do. So I'm gonna create a whole new blog page. So you can just, you can create this wherever, but I'm gonna create it under secondary navigation and you can do it under not linked if you want it to be not shown and we'll create an index page index page so this is something that is a brine family template um capability will you title it, title it blog and then you're creating sections under so just like this home page where we have different sections some of them i titled some of them i didn't um doesn't really matter but you do want to create different sections so we'll click add a section we'll just make it blank and the first section will pop up. All right, so you can see I have two new pages. First page I, or first section, I'm just going to have a quote in here. So we'll just grab one from Google. And then I want a background uh, image, so that's a banner. If you click on banner, you can use one of your images or you can uh, use an image that they that Squarespace has in their library. They use Unsplash, which is a free, free place that you can use their images. Um, so we'll just click one for now. All right, so I want this to be a little bit bigger. Um, you may have, your settings may already have the spacing. I make it so that there's like no spacing because I wanna be able to manipulate that. So if you have spacers that you add in, you can make that banner image larger. Um, so I'm gonna add a spacer below. My computer's just kind of taking a while to catch up. And I have the quote right here. And I want to put the, sorry. Again, you can't see it because my computer's just slow, but it is there. Now the text is white, the image is, it's really hard to see. So I'm going to change up that image a little bit just to make it easier. I could have again had just a plain color background or you can go in to edit the image in Squarespace and just make it more transparent um, or darker and that'll allow you to see the text above it. So I can maybe, since the text is white, kind of want it to be a darker image maybe even blur it a little bit so that I can really see that text. They also have some settings right there. Then we'll just click save. All right, great. So now we'll go into this new page section and the first section I wanna create is a featured post section. Uh, so just the blogs, if you have a ton of blog posts, it's really good to highlight them. So we'll center that, just add some text. And then we are going to add what's called a summary block. And this allows us to pull in our blog posts. So the page that I'm selecting is of course my blog page. And you have to make sure that you when, that you have blogs in there, first of all, and maybe you have like five or 10, then go into your blogs and you can make some of your blogs featured. So that would be the next step because when you click filter items, you can have it say featured only. But if you don't have it featured on any of your blog posts, uh, nothing will come up. So I'll go show you how to do that now. Okay, so let's go on over to our blog. Ideally, you're going to have more than just three blogs, but right now that's all I have. And let's say I want this particular blog post to be one of my featured blog. You'll just go into it, go to options, and have it say featured post. And now it'll stream onto that blog page. I'm now gonna go in and add categories to each of these blog posts so that when I add my categories to the blog page, it'll come up where I want it to. So just click edit on whatever blog it is. And then down here in categories is where you're going to create your different category. So I'll just finish up adding um, different categories to all these. Development. Make sure this one has a category. All 
And then we can go back to the page that we are creating. So that is this one, this blog index page right here. Again, that first section is our, um, our quote. And the next section is the featured. And the next section is going to be um, my blog section about grief. So if I click, and as you can see, because I set that, uh, that post as my featured, that's the one that's popping up. So um, I would keep that to one, two, not too many. So then you can just add another section. I always just do blank. If you wanna get a template, you could choose one of the other ones. And side note, if it bugs you that just every single page says new page, you can click on that settings icon. Uh, this is my featured section and change the page title, oops, to um, whatever it is in the navigation. And then that'll pop up over there so that when you click on that section and it pops up my featured, it you know what it is. Not necessary, but it helps. All right, so let's scroll down and work on this section now. Um, if you wanted to like have a different background color so it's not just looking like it's one big white um you can go into canva and just create a pretty large sized canvas um really anything works but uh i did 2500 by 1500 pixels and then you can just change the background to one of your brand colors and download it as a png image once it's downloaded if you go into here you can upload the image which is just a background image um and it'll kind of help separate the sections a little bit make sure you click save and then it'll pop up as the background then i'm going to add a text block Again, if I want things to be bigger, I can always add a spacer right here and drag it to make the section wider. Make sure you're hitting save up there. And then below, I'm gonna do another summary block and pull in our blog posts again. So the page would be blog, but this time I want to make sure that I um, filter the items and have the category that I tagged the particular blog that I want this to go on. So, all right, so I added those three sections. There's different kinds of, um, you can kind of change up what the block, summary block looks like. You click on it, double click, design. I have the ones below set up as a wall. And um, again, that's whatever you want, but I'm gonna set this one as a grid and it's, the three by two, but I want it to still be a square. You can change the text to be centered. And I want this block to be like centered, centered since it's only one featured post. It's kind of hard in Squarespace to do that. So I have some code and I'll, if you want to use this code, you can just copy and paste it. And uh, that, oops, code should center that block. Yep, so it popped right over. And then since this is um it is only going to do that on the summary block it won't affect these ones because this one is a summary grid um so that's just a little trick right there or i mean summary wall this one is a summary grid getting it all mixed up so it won't affect it because it's the wall but if i were to choose the grid for this um because i have that code in there it would center this one as well as the one above it Again, you want to make sure that every single time that you post a new blog, you uh, create a category or add to the already established category that you have. Make sure you click save. I know I already did this, but none of them saved, so you know it is what it is. So when you write in grief or whatever it is, make sure you click enter. And then save. And if you've set up those categories, then if you go to the summary block where you want it and go under filter items, you should see the different categories. You can click the one that it is and the blog that um, 
has that tag will pop up. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you are looking to DIY your Squarespace website, I have a course called Squarespace with Confidence. I'll link it below. We go through start to finish how to uh, design and customize your Squarespace website, and then you are capable of doing updates. And it also goes into a little bit of SEO and how to optimize that. So I will link that below.